Plane accidents are the worst accidents compared to all others, as it results in little to no survivors at all. The incident of Japan Flight 123 was rated to be the worst single plane accident of all time, which out of the 509 passengers and 15 crew members, only four made it out alive. On the 12th of August, 1985, a Boeing 747-SR-46 Japan Flight 123 was heading from Tokyo to Osaka. It was piloted by Captain Masami Takahama, and on this flight, he was training the instructor, which was Yutaka Sasaki, and the flight engineer, Hiroshi Fukuda. The Captain Masami was a very experienced pilot with flying hours of not less than 4,800, and in particular, a lot of them was in a Boeing 747. The two other pilots were highly experienced as well, with thousands of flying hours. This version of Boeing 747 was made solely on Japan request. It was a modified version of the Boeing 747-100. This aircraft was made to increase domestic flights inside Japan. It was altered to increase the passenger numbers and decrease the fuel usage in short-range flights. Japan Flight 123 took off from Haneda Airport at 6.12 p.m. It was around 12 minutes behind its original schedule. This flight took place in summer, where usually the festival season, the Obon holiday, takes place. Planes were packed with people visiting their families and celebrating the holiday. After the 524 passengers got on plane, it took off, reaching to an altitude of 24,000 feet. At 6.24 p.m., a little after takeoff, two explosions were heard at the back of the plane, and a rapid decompression took place which decreased the pressure inside the plane. This decompression did not just make it hard for passengers to breathe, but it also severed a lot of things in the plane. Like all the hydraulic systems were completely damaged as well as the vertical stabilizers. Pilots were trying to control the plane and immediately reported it as emergency. After the pilot communicated with the air traffic, pilots were advised to land at the closest airport, which was 115 kilometers away. But the pilots thought it was impossible to reach that airport, and requested to land on a longer runway, which was Haneda Airport. However, as pilots got to Haneda Airport and were planning to land, they lost control and the plane started rising again. At 6.33 p.m., the plane was above 20,000 feet, which made it completely hard for passengers to breathe. Pilots were trying their best and doing everything they can to go lower, to reduce the cabin pressure. However, while pilots were trying to reduce the cabin pressure, the traffic controllers noticed something weird. The Japan Flight 123 was turning in a 360 degrees continuously for three minutes. At 6.47, the aircraft made a sudden descend, which was uncontrollable by the pilots. It descended to 7,000 feet. The plane is in a mountainous area, and going as low as that was extremely dangerous. The aircraft was totally uncontrollable, and it ascended again to 13,400 feet. Pilots tried their best to control the aircraft again, but they failed and crashed into Osaka Mountain at 6.56 p.m. Unfortunately, the crash took place in a mountainous area. Rescue operations took longer than usual to reach to the crash. The only rescue that could make it was the C-130, which belonged to the U.S. military. They reached the incident within 20 minutes. There were multiple search and rescue teams who made it to the scene after, but it was too late. Only four passengers made it out alive. After the investigations took place, three conclusions were made. 1. This same aircraft was involved in a tail strike, which basically means that the plane strikes its tail during takeoff or landing. This tail strike took place seven years prior to this accident, during JAL Flight 115. That tail strike damaged the plane's aft pressure bulkhead. 2. Boeing has particular procedure to fix tail strikes. However, the technicians at Boeing did not follow the same procedure. While investigating the accident, it was calculated that the false installation could make it up to only 11,000 pressurization cycles, but the aircraft actually achieved 12,318 successful flights from the time of the incorrect repair to accident. Number 3. After many years of using the plane with a faulty repair, the bulkhead started to crack and unfortunately failed during the Japan Flight 123, resulting in a decompression, which damaged all four hydraulic systems and the vertical stabilizer. Those two things play a huge role in the plane's stability and control. Unfortunately, after many of the aircraft flight controls were disabled, the plane was uncontrollable. This is the end of today's video. What do you think of Japan's Flight 123 crash? Do you think it could have been prevented? Share with us in the comment section below. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and turn the post notifications on to receive the latest from us. See you in the next one.